Pohi, maybe just reflecting on that opening game, of course, against the champions, as expected, it would have been tough, but what are some of the things that you are taking going into the Royal AM match? Yeah, uh, I think uh, from our previous game, obviously, despite the, the, the result, but there should be one or two things that we have learned from it. But you know, Sundowns is Sundowns, and yeah, it's, it's, it's something that we, we saw, we have learned, obviously. And going to our next game, is, uh, I think for me it's going to be more difficult than the Sundowns game because remember Royal AM have been having the same players for about three seasons now, so the understanding is there. Obviously, they, there's nothing much from them that they have to build on because, you know, if, if you can keep your squad for almost three seasons, then your players, obviously, they get to know each other better than when you, you had to, to, to start afresh, build a team that want to compete. Is that how you look at it, that they, as opposed to they aren't able to refresh the squad and they've got a, a squad that knows each other better to, to give the opposition a hard time? Yeah, I think obviously it will come from the coaches now because the final way the coaches wait. But uh, I think from, from, my, from my side, from my perspective, um, there will be some changes, but you won't expect so many changes, you know. But uh, what we can what we can do and what we must focus on a bit more, I think, going to Royal AM game is, is, is going to be a more difficult game, you know. Like the coaches emphasized this morning that uh, going to that game, we have to go there and want to to, to enjoy enjoy uh, our football without having the ball because uh, you go play against a team like that. There's no signings there, but you know there's, there there are good players there. Which uh, I think come come uh, Saturday they will also come here to, to to come and look for the result. We have a couple of new faces that we see uh, here, especially Eric, Manalo defender. Um, what do you make of these guys? I mean, obviously you and new player as well, but uh, what do you make of the quality that's, that's been brought into the squad? Uh, I think it's very important to 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 always before. Or maybe before before you you ask someone to come here and, and and be part of the team. Obviously, coach saw something on him, and from my player's perspective, I think also from training, um, he's, he's he's a player that he can really really add value to our squad. And yeah, we just we just have to make sure that uh, we bring him more closer because he has never been to a competitive league for like two seasons, I think. Yeah, so the, the only thing that we can do for now is to, to, to make him adapt as, as quickly as possible and make sure that uh, obviously we, 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 really, we really put him on the right track and uh, make him aware of what is expected and all that. And um, I mean, coming here, <coughs> what kind of targets have you set for yourself as a team? Yeah, obviously, Super Sport is a, is, a, is, a, is a team that want to compete, you know, it's no doubt about it. And uh, this season, uh, like like the coach said, we, we, we cannot be saying we are safe being on the top eight. We, we, we can, we can, even if uh, we are to set those goals uh, individually. So there must be something that you want to win. You, you, you must, you must have that uh, that willingness to say, this season, um, whether whether you don't do well in the league, but let's get something out of this season with the squad we have now. I think the squad we have now is better, even though there's youngsters. But you, you are lucky enough if you have youngsters that are willing to learn that. You can see uh, every day in training that they are growing, and what you can do to those people who are like that, just to give them the support that you need, and make sure that yeah, you achieve your goal. But our goal this season is to finish. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I say you're gonna win the league, but obviously they're the top. Somewhere they're the top. That's where you want to see yourself at. Okay, we saw um, three centre backs sort of formation. Uh, you know, is that kind of how you see Super Sport playing? We're not really used to seeing Gavin Hunt having three centre backs. Was it because you were playing Sundowns, who maybe have more of a bigger attack threat, or you think we could see him? A, Tyson yourself and maybe interchanging with other centre backs in a back three. Yeah, I think I think it was uh, it was more like uh, <coughs> Sanders' approach because we knew that Sanders they were gonna put uh, probably uh, we we expected them to play like more like four three three. 
that's how we, we uh, coach decided that you know what uh, for this game I think we're gonna three we're gonna need uh, three centre backs. But yeah, uh, yes, he, he always he always mentioned it that uh, you will never know. Even uh, I think uh, Royal Williams game, I don't know. We, we might play with two, we might play with three. But he said to us that uh, we must always be ready to 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 really adapt as, 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 as soon as possible. You know, after seeing the the, the team sheet for Sundowns, that's where I think the, the final decision were made. But uh, overall, we have been uh, practicing with two centre backs during the week.